What you see here on this tarp is the safety equipment that is mandated by our rules that all personnel use when on scene. So first off, we have our helmets, which is the priority. We have four different colors. Red is for the regular team. White is for the person in control. Yellow is the safety officer. So we have vest with our label on it. If we're on scene out on municipal roads or somewhere where there's traffic, we can identify ourselves. Sometimes when we're called, we may not have time to stop and put the nice shirts on. We were lucky on our rescue the other day that we were already on call or in position with the trailer. So three of us were dressed appropriately with identifying shirts. So gloves are also mandated when anytime you're handling ropes, cables, or horses, gloves are required. This is the rescue glide that is used to move horses or other large animals from down situations can be transported in the horse trailer with this equipment. This equipment that you see here was donated last year by Wonderland Horse Farm in Elkton, Maryland. Um, they were gracious enough to donate the total cost of the rescue glide for us. The approximate value of what you see here in merchandise is over $3,000. This is not a cheap investment and you have to be thoroughly trained to use this to the best advantage. To start with, we have to make sure the horse has a halter and lead rope on it so we can control the horse. Once the horse is under control, we ask for sedation from the vet. Uh, we will not attempt a rescue until the horse has been sedated because it's not safe for us. Our motto is, if we can't do it safely, it won't be done. So, Once the horse is sedated, we will put a head bumper that can be fastened. This is like an inch and a half of dense foam. This actually saved a horse's life on our Saturday rescue when they thrashed, threw their head down on large boulders and rocks. It prevented eye injuries. When a horse is laying flat, the first thing that gets damaged is the eye socket because they protrude outside of the skull of the horse. This is made as extra thick around the eyes to protect them. This alone cost over $200. Once the horse is, has the helmet on and will lay it down on the glide, we have two pieces of the glide. The one with the metal front is the actual transport glide. The slip sheet can be used to slide the horse onto this or to slide underneath the glide when you're pulling up the ramp on a trailer. To secure the horse to the glide, you have yellow straps that are ratchet straps that hook into the side of the holes on the glide on different spots depending on the size of the horse. Those straps are placed on the horse with pads placed underneath of them to mitigate the pressure on the structure of the horse. That spreads the pressure out so there's not pinch points. So if you need to tow the glide or pull up out of a ravine as we did on our past rescue, lock and tackle and chains can be hooked to winches or other mechanical advantages to give you better lift power. Hobble straps are come in two different sizes. We have purple and green. Purple is like a regular size horse. Green is for larger horses. These will be looped around a horse's legs and hooked with the pulley rope that you see on the purple to package the horse and pull the legs in tight so the horse is totally enclosed on the green glide. That way they can be slid into a horse trailer and transported at that time. We also have extra pads to buffer in case of wounds or problems or uh, if a horse has a leg injury, so we sometimes have to pad and appropriately around that situation. The tiny blue straps are hooked around the holes in the side of the glide and that's what we hook our straps to. We also have a 30 foot toe strap that is located here and we can maneuver horses to the glide by using that strap. Ropes are attached to the glide to secure them from sliding in either direction. The equipment that you see here is necessary for the safety of the horses when they're transported or in case of injuries. 
small head bumpers can be put on top of the halter to protect the horse's head. The ears go through the holes and it slips over the halter. Vet wrap, leg quilts, leg wraps, and stall bandages protect the horse's lower legs when shipping on the trailer. In case of injury or swelling, they will be wrapped to prior to transport. We always carry water. If a horse is hot, especially at the races, sometimes we'll have ice packed in chests to cool a horse that possibly goes down from heat exhaustion. Blankets of various types. We have rainproof, waterproof, and heavy quilted blankets. In case of hypothermia or excess heat, we need to dissipate the heat from the body or contain it if the horse is cold. Eye protection is utmost important. When a horse is laying down or possibly has an eye injury, sometimes they'll try to rub or scratch that eye in transport. So by putting on their goggles, they cannot put pressure on any eye wounds. Buckets offering water. Water is essential for their well-being and they get dehydrated easily in hot temperatures. So 